I'm weighing my backpack, uh, basically without food and water in it, so that I can find out uh, how much my gear weighs before I embark on the uh, third leg of the John Muir Trail. Every ounce uh, just adds weight. And, I mean, that's the, it's pretty simple. If you're, uh, you're carrying a whole lot of weight, you're not going to be able to go as far. You're not going to be able to go as comfortably. And you're not going to be able to enjoy it as much. Trekking poles. One pound. 3.1 ounces. That's a nice scale. Let's bring out my uh, fuel canister. This is the thing I've been waiting for. My stove. Okay, this is my sleeping bag. My sleeping pad. This is my uh, water filter. Bear canister. 2 pounds, 11.9 ounces. Wow. We need smaller bear canisters. Can you believe a down jacket weighs 1 pound, 4 ounces? Oh, wait a minute, it's showing four ounces. One pound, 14 ounces. We can lose a couple off of that strap, though, right? Three pounds, four ounces, 6.6 .6 ounces. One pound, three ounces, not as advertised. That's three pounds, two ounces. I am pleased. I am most stoked. If they advertise it at three pounds, 10 ounces, please be less than three pounds. Please be less than three pounds. For less than three, ten. three pounds, seven ounces, read it and weep. Three pounds? I've thought about this a lot. It's like 48 ounces. <laughs> it's the difference between really feeling good at the end of the day, you know, having a good workout and feeling good and feeling exhausted and not feeling like you really want to take that big pass the next day. That's the difference. That is heavier than I thought it would be, and it's because of the bag and that little string. I'm cutting strings. Cut the string. Cut the string.